can't put my pumpkin back where I got it from either. Okay, for the time being, I'll put it here. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. You see, hopefully it will pull it through. Anything being macerated will be pulled down to here. Mm -hmm. and then once it's macerated, it'll be pulled out, put into the smelter. Well, you see, that's not necessarily a good idea, is it? Because I might, well, no, I suppose that anything else I want ma uh, macerating, like coal, I suppose I could send somewhere else, could I? Hmm. This is sat on top of a stack of four thir well, a bat box and then four thermopiles going deep down into the ground to power it because it needs all this power, the uh, sorting machine, that's what that is. Uh -huh. So I had to go to the lava, uh, to go to the nether to get lava, four lava blocks and I made 12 ice blocks with the uh, compressor. Mm -hmm. So that's generating hopefully enough power to keep that powered. And underneath it, you say, are, are four like thermal generators? Uh, it's called a thermal pile, it, uh -huh. and it works by ha having um, the difference between hot and cold. Okay. And what you do is you put. Um, it's got like four. I suppose it's got four sides, hasn't it? A box. If you don't count the top and the bottom. Sure. Um, so on one side, like where the end of chest is, you'd put a lava source, mm -hmm. and then on the other three sides, you would put water. Okay. And the difference between the temperature in the lava and the water acts on the the uh, thermopile to make it generate electricity. Okay. Um. So it's a heat pump. Oh uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> very very yeah. That's basically what they are. Yeah. Energy um, making heat pump. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but instead of using water blocks, I've used ice blocks, which are even colder. Sure. So each one generates more power than it would if it was just water. <clears throat> and you made those in the compressor. compressor. You said you put a snowball in the compressor, and it'll it'll make an ice block. Okay. So. If you let me know how many stacks of snow and how many stacks of ice you'd like for your glacier, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll make them for you. We have the technology. <laughs> we have the technology to terraform I'm the, like huh? Yeah, I'm the <laughs> snow golem. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just thinking now, if I get any coal coming through my sorting system, do I just then send it into storage because I don't want to macerate it to, otherwise it would then have to be smelted mm -hmm. hmm I might just void coal because I've got infinite coal here anyway you do how do you uh, oh, oh yeah that's right you got the the wither farm. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what machine makes coal. If you got something that breaks <laughs> diamonds or something. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that infinite coal. That is nice. Yep. And I've also got infinite blaze rods. So instead of using coal to power something, I could use blaze rods. Um. Quite lucky, really, with. That's a bit of the problem, you see, now. I'm just feeling, why go mining when I've got more or less all the resources here? The only the only resource that absolutely cripples me is tin and copper. <laughs> and you, can, I, I have actually researched the spells to transform gold into either of those, so... Just, I could do it with magic if I wanted to. into the dark side <laughs> so what I will do then is I'll make another ender pouch that's got this colour coding on it 
Mm-hmm. So then, whenever I'm I'm going out anywhere and I've got stuff I want to take home, I'll just put in the ender pouch, and it'll be pulled out and put into the sorting system straight away. Whew. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, not bad, is it? I wonder if this is how Lord of the Rings works, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking, if I make the same thing as I've done with the jetpack for the battery box as well, mm-hmm. then I'll never have to come home. <laughs> <laughs> I could just keep on going. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings now, they've got a... Uh, whenever you kill... When you killed the mobs in the game, it used to be their whatever they had on them went into your inventory. Yeah. But now they've got like a special little pouch, a little icon appears down here in the bottom right corner of your screen. And yeah. everything that they have on them is stored in this little special storage area. It doesn't go into your inventory. And it's stored there for up to an hour. So you've got an hour, after, if you're out adventuring and everything else, you've got an hour to kill your first mob, you know, hour from the time that you got the first loot to get to a vendor and sell it back or or put it in your inventory or whatever you want to do with it. And it's really helping the problem of... It used to be you went out and you killed and you killed and, you know, you're still going along and you're still wanting... But you got to run back to town because your bags are full. Yeah. So it's really solved that problem. You can just stay out there and kill and kill and kill and kill until you know you've got to come back and sell or empty your pouch or whatever you want to do with it. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm imagining. For some reason, it's on their server. They've got like this ender pouch thing like this and all these little pipes and tubes that are storing all your crap. Well, does it stay there all the time? <clears throat> you don't have to even pick it up, do you not? It just sort of like puts it there so you could go back to town and then access it still from town or do you have yes. to be near the mob? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's like a bag of holding with a one hour time limit. Right. So yeah, as long as as long as you, you take it out of the pouch or do something with it within the hour, um it's there, whether you're standing with the mob or back at your house or or standing at the vendor or whatever. This is still just the neatest machine here. Uh, that's it, I love that one. <laughs> I really do. But you see, the trouble is, I don't want to do too many ship machines that rely on timers going because mm-hmm. timers ag- add lag, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> however, that one will benefit all of us, really. Um, I gave Cage, <clears throat> well, I went and left it at his place. I don't know whether he's mm-hmm. been on for it and picked it up or not. But I gave him an ender pouch so he can use that with a jetpack if he wants to. Cool. Guess I'll have to get around to building me one now. So, what did you do with him when he came on, and how long was he on for, etc.? Uh, I don't know how long he was on after I left. Um, I got on here with him, I guess, about one o'clock, and uh, he was just just getting the stream started, and I was on from one to three. So, yeah, I was on here for two hours with him. He was a. Uh, first, we did a, a little tour of your building here. He was really fascinated and liked everything he saw. Um, and then we went over and looked at Keeb's place. And then we went back to his place, and he was showing me the turtle that he had built and how it worked. And uh, he was building some walls, and we cut down some redwoods, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. And you did that all that on a live stream, did you? Uh, yeah. These uh, project tables? Yeah. Mm, cool. Project tables with what they make, mm-hmm. sto- you know, put above them, yeah. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> I'm still short of resources for some of the things, though, like, uh, particularly machine blocks. I've not got the uh, iron for yet. Mm-hmm. I need some glass. Hmm. 
chest has glitched up and, and stuck in the up position for me. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Low WD-40, the hinges will start working again. So it's a MV transformer in the middle, two gold cable, a circuit and then glass. Okay, okay. Let me put that into the machine before I forget so I don't blow it sky high when I uh, connect it. <laughs> are you just trying to grow normal oak or are you trying to grow a different type of tree? Oh, just the normal oaks. I like the like the way that the fact that the you know the two corner pieces of the compound turned into uh oh I did get okay yeah I've forgotten that I did get a fourth one in actually a really nice one in one of the corners so uh yeah all four corners of the compound have one of the big trees in them now I like the the fact that the two back corners um, both grew them by accident so I wanted to make sure we got them in the uh the other corners as well yeah. Just need to. Whenever I'm not planning on doing anything, just uh, get busy spreading out my autumn trees again. Eventually, I'd like to uh, <coughs> turn as far as I can see here into an autumn forest on these hills and everything. Are you short of saplings yet? Oh no. I mean, I get plenty whenever I, uh, whenever I chop them down. I usually, I always, I've so far always gotten at least one per tree, and usually two or three. Yeah. So I've got oh. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I've got about four or five of each tree now. So it's getting there. It's getting there. I just got to figure out where I want my other books at now. Um, I guess here. So do for now. Problem in all that's so whenever I was building the. Oops. What I meant Oops. to do. <laughs> yeah. End up clicking on the book in my hand. Um, which apparently made it go away. Clicking on the book in your hand. Yeah, I clicked on your Atlantis book. I was yeah. in the nether, I clicked on your Atlantis book. But I didn't realize I had, the, the what I was clicking on it with was the Narlandia book. That was in my right hand. Yeah. And I didn't notice it said Narlandia, so I clicked on it. I came back here, but now the Narlandia book is gone. Oh, you'll have dropped it in the nether. You'll have to go, okay. back, to the, go back to the nether. You'll find it on the floor, you, you pick it up. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. All right, let me empty out some of this crap. It's not like I've ever said those words in this game before. <laughs> well, I hear you. I mean, it's bad enough in vanilla, isn't it? Inventory problems, but this, this <sighs> just has so much more of you to. For real, for real. Get stuck up. Ah, that's what I was going to do. Good. I was going to make me a... another barrel. And then I was going to make me another bow. I need 
a, it's a slab and logs, right? Um, a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's uh, seven seven uh, logs. Yeah, not not um, <clears throat> not planks. Right. Yeah. In a Steve Martin moment here. One of his stand-up routines where he said something in the crowd kind of ooh, and he went, hey, I don't need you. I can do this show alone. <laughs> I often do. <laughs> That's something I need to get on iTunes and find out. What's that? That would actually be worth getting. See if they have a. Uh, see if they have any of the old Steve Martin stand-up albums from the seventies. I would love to get copies of those again. I think I've got one of them, you know, LP. From back then, I've got like, I don't think comedy is not pretty. I think it's uh. Oh, did he do a live on the Sunset Strip? I can't remember. Wild and Crazy Guy. That was the one. I loved his stand up. It was wonderful stuff. Alright. And you said there'll be a book, and there it is. Pick that back up. Good. Alright, let's not click on it with something in my hand. Good, yay! And I'm not even going to uh, make a comment about the fact that everyone that zones in here zones in staring at your bed. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, I thought it's, it's a way I can, <laughs> I can get back quickly and get to sleep quickly, but I didn't think everybody else would be... Uh... <laughs> Dropping by, shall we say? <laughs> <coughs> Should have known everybody would be dropping by. It's like I said, we always end up at Mind Veins. <laughs> oh, and congratulations on the 365 episodes of Brocraft. Wow. Ah, thank you. <laughs> well, you're a big part of that. You're a very big part of that. You're responsible for, for at least half of those. Oh, I don't know about being responsible for him. I was there when you filmed them. And I'm giving you at least the blame. You're, you're not weaseling out of this, monkey boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God, I'm out of redstone. When it comes, has to go redstone in. comes to trial, you would definitely be listed as an accomplice. Well, that's okay. You haven't seen any any um, marshes anywhere, have you? Because I could do with finding a witch. Hmm. No, I haven't. Well, I found. I did. I, I walked through a marsh or a swamp or something, but there was. It was small, and there were no huts in it. Um. Yeah. I'll have to go mining. I'll have to go and get some redstone. Yeah. Never seen a witch. Well, I had those that spawned in the uh, woods, uh, in the um, on on that other server on, mm -hmm. on Broadbeast. Uh, they had the witches that spawned inside the Thorncraft dungeon. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. The 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 witches that show up in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Never seen a naturally occurring one though. No. Well, they were the ones I knew back in college, but they were a totally different breed. 